Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today we are back on the Westbridge Hills map in my test game for my 20th video about course play. In this video, we're going to set up course play to do a fertilizing and seeding course with a refill course using these liquid manure spreaders. If you're new to course play and you missed the first 19 videos, you might want to go back and start from the beginning. There's a link in the description of my course play tutorial playlist. So, to get started, the first thing we're going to want to do here is we'll bring up course play and start our tractor. First thing we need to do is record our refill course. So I'm going to start everything down here from this, uh, I guess this is the southeast corner of this field. So I'm just going to get the tractor lined up here. Alright. Alright, right around here should be the where our course will start and end, so we're going to say start course recording. Alright, we've got our two waypoints, we can start our turn. And we're going to drive over to the liquid manure storage tank that's uh, over by the livestock. Just turn around. We want to get right up in here next to this. So then we'll just keep pulling up here until we get to our refill trigger. There it is. We'll go ahead and refill this while we're here. Alright, I'm not going to fill it all the way up, but that's good enough. And then we're going to continue on with our course. Alright, we'll come right up in here. And then we can stop. And then we're going to save this as refill liquid manure. And we'll save that. And we'll come over here. Let's see, do we have a field 16? We do. Alright. So we're going to move this into our field 16 folder. So now we can clear that. So the next thing we need to do is generate our fertilizing and seeding course for the field. And in this example, we're actually going to be using two of these. So we're going to set this up on field 16. And our calculated width for one implement is 6.2 meters, but since we're using two, we're going to go ahead and dial that up and we're going to do 12 meters. Because again, 12.4 uh, isn't an option. And so I'd rather overlap than miss. So 12 meters. And then our starting corner is going to be the southeast corner, our direction is going to be west, and we want to return to the first waypoint. And then we'll generate the course. And now this tractor needs a left offset of 3 meters. So if our course is 12 meters wide, the center of that course is at 6 meters. And the center of our tractor is 3 meters from the center of this course. So this one's going to be 3 meters left, so we scroll down. And we are going to do symmetric lane changes. And there's no offset. All right, so now we're going to hop into our other tractor. And we'll start this one up. Bring 
bring it around. Alright, and we're going to copy our course from the T8 next to us. to set our lane offset of three meters to the right. So we're going to scroll up. We are going to do a symmetric lane change. Uh, and now we need to add in our refill course, which is field 16. And then we can tell this to start from the first waypoint and drive course. We're going to hop back into this one and we're going to add in our refill course. And then we can tell it to start from the first waypoint and drive course. So now we've got both tractors working. They are cultivating and fertilizing. Now this field's already cultivated, but uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, with this equipment we could have also uh, taken the cultivators off and then just used the sprayer to spray on top of the field. Uh, if you are using soil mod there is an advantage to cultivating in liquid manure. It gives you a bigger boost. We'll follow these and in a couple more passes this one will need to go get refilled. Alright, so our tractor is out of liquid manure, so it's going to go over to the refill course. Alright, now that it's reached the start of the refill course, it's just going to drive over to the liquid manure storage tank and refill itself. Alright, now it'll wait here and refill from the storage tank until it's full and then it'll keep driving on the course. Alright, now it's going to drive back to the field. Now it's going to go back to where it left off fertilizing and resume work. Oh, looks like our other fertilizer has just emptied and so now it's going to go refill so that it can go finish the field. See I find it better to start with one fertilizer full and one half full and uh, that way they're not both going back and refilling at the exact same time. Uh, it staggers their refills. Uh, that way you're less likely to have traffic issues. Uh, if you're running three, you could start one at 33%, one at 66%, and one that's full. 
we'll just uh, keep following along with this tractor while it finishes up the field. Alright, looks like our second tractor is back from refilling and it's going to drive through the field there and resume working where it left off. Alright, so that concludes the 20th video in my course play series. In the next video in this series, we'll expand upon using course play and liquid manure to fertilize a field by incorporating a semi with a liquid manure tanker and running it in liquid manure transporter mode. This way, the tractors pulling the actual liquid manure spreaders don't have to drive all the way to the storage tank and back. If you're interested in trying out course play, I'll put a link in the description below to the mod website. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please click the like button and subscribe for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.